on a documentary, the lighting man will carry probably one roll of that, one of this, one of that, uh, a paper. Um, he would have about six rolls, I would have thought, mm. really for a selection. I mean, there might be a full blue, a half blue, yeah. a full CTO, a half, a half CTO. CTO. Yeah. And then a paper, you could have a full paper, and a half paper. Yes. Because we never knew what you cameramen were going to ask. Oh, uh, we so. kept you on your toes, didn't we? So <laughs> <laughs> it was important to be able to supply it. And um, often we would, we used to do a wooden frame, make a wooden frame about four by four, get the paper, staple the paper onto the frame. Now this is real paper, mm. not the plastic stuff. Yep. Staple it on, get a watering can, put some water in it, lay it down and water the frame, the paper frame. It would then start to stretch and it would get as tight as a drum. Sound men then became your best, best friend mm -hmm. because you could put that up on the window and uh, you wouldn't get any rattle. It was an old trick, but um, with modern uh, materials that came after that, it lost it because they made yes. it plastic. Yes, and which was not it. quite the same anyway. No, it didn't have it. the same diffusing quality no. as, as, as tracing paper. No. Yeah. The, I mean, if you're talking about um, the actual time for setting up traditionally, if you're going to an ordinary domestic environment and you're going to do an interview with somebody, then uh, usually the director, myself and the Sparks would go in and quickly, very quickly decide where we're, how we're going to film it, where we're going to put the chair. Um, and then Anna and I would get it lit. And with, with this sort of kit, you're talking about as little as 20 minutes. It mm. could be a bit, depending on other problems, but yeah. you, could, you could do it that quickly. Um, mm. A lot would depend on, on whether I was having a good day or not. If I put, <laughs> put a light somewhere, I thought, no, I shouldn't have done that. I want to move it there instead. But if it's a basic lighting, a talking head, then, I mean, I would actually light it with less than this. Mm. Um, what I would always use, and I suspect we haven't got it here today, is that I would have a, a, a three or four by four piece of poly. Polystyrene, yes. Yeah. And I have that behind the camera with the 2K bounced on it. Now that was my fill light. And the, then apart from that, there would just be- Kick a, lights on. There would be, a, be a, light, mm. a key light on the, on, the, on the face, fill light from the poly, a bit mm. of backlight on the opposite side to the key light, and then if the background needs a bit of light, another one for that. But that was pretty quick. And that, was, that would light mm. a talking head as far as I was concerned. The, the beauty of using very soft light as a fill light behind the camera is, again, you're making the sound line your best friend. Because with a hard light behind the camera, the, 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 you have a hell of a job to get the, the microphone out of, uh, not creating a shadow in, in the yeah, set. Yeah. And the, uh, for sound department, generally in all filming, whether it was a t filming a talking head or even a drama interior. You forgot one thing? What? Glasses. Oh yes, well. person yeah. wears glasses, you've got a problem there as well. Well, you've got to make everything a lot higher usually, mm. which can be annoying because you finish up with shadows under the, under the nose. But that's mm. the only way around it is, um, I mean, actors learnt, of course, if they're wearing glasses, they learnt to have special glasses, which had actually had, they had them, t the t well, the glass tilted downwards a bit. And that, that solved the problem if you're an actor who was on set all the time. But if you're filming an ordinary member of the public with glasses, yes, it could be a problem. And all you could do was, was put the lights a lot higher and hope they didn't tip their head up too much. But Bald-headed people, we've got to take that into account. Yes. You know? Yes, with, with the backlight especially, yeah. 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 And what was that The question of eyebrows? So there was a cameraman that had a special term. He called them certain, like Grecian arches or something. You must get the light under. The, I mean, <laughs> it's we true. We all have our quirks. The windows, <laughs> they're the windows of the soul, aren't they? Actors act with their eyes. Yeah. And uh, many times you have, you, if you're doing a dramatic scene, this little chap would, would come into use. The inky. For the inky dinky, the Queen's favourite lamp. Um, this would come into use. Uh, and David Lean's favourite lamp. Apparently. Yeah, evidently, yeah. yeah. And it would put that little white point of light onto the eyeball. And uh, it just gives it that, you know, atmosphere. It's good. It would also, for people that have got a few lines around here, 
you know, it helps to remove them.